Hi, this is um, Access Chapter 11, and this is the training assignment, the first assignment. And um, this chapter is all about making um, your user interfaces for your system. So we really have worked through all the pieces and parts. Um, to get a basic system and this chapter talks about how to really develop a navigation form and a user interface that is friendly and yet protects your system because you really want your user to be able to you know enter and edit delete data but you don't really want people in there um, working with the structure or the design of the database um, uh, on a normal, they, they have no need, right? Their, their focus is to work with the data, get their reports, those type of things. And so this chapter works with how do we set up an uh, interface so that the user can be efficient and how can we set up this user f interface to protect our um, system. So if you s look at my screen, I have um, the instructions for the grader and then the database. And this is one assignment that does not really follow the examples in the book. I mean, it does, but the examples have a lot more um, already built and a lot more options than what we're going to, this is kind of a pared down version. Um, okay, so let's take a look. We have opened up our um, uh, spa, let me just double check I got the right thing up, yeah, and um, enabled it. So we're, we're good with that. So we're going to create a um, navigation form that is going to be used to access several forms and reports that are related to the spa. So if you look, we have the table. So we have all the underlying stuff done. Um, although that's where this, this example doesn't really have any queries, but um, we're going to go with it. Really, we're going to work mostly with forms and reports. But So how we create this navigation begins the way we always create things. We go to the Create tab. And navigation forms are forms. So we go to the group that says Forms. And then here's a button we really haven't explored, right? We've done Form, we've formed Form Design, Form Wizard, Blank. Um, but we're going to look at navigation. And there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six of these templates that are predefined layouts. It's a, you know, it's a great place to start. That doesn't mean you cannot um, modify it, but it's a, it has this predefined layout on the form. It saves a lot of work. So if we look at our example here, we're going to use the vertical tabs left. So vertical tabs left. It's gonna create the layout, right? So if you look over here on the left, we're gonna have an area that we can put um, some of our objects and then when a person, it's almost like a little navigation menu here. So when the person would click on it, it would show up over here. Um, okay, so we want to add the following objects to the navigation bar on the left in this order. Form customer and report customer list. So the process of adding this is very simple. However, I need to open up my navigation pane. So my objects are here in my navigation pane. All I'm gonna do is pick whichever one I want and drag it and drop it right here in this where it says add new. So the first one they want is form customer. 
So I'm going to click, I'm going to drop it, and there it is. Second one is Report Customer List. I'm going to come up and drop it. So now I have two buttons. Of course, these names aren't very, I mean, they're the names of the, they're not very meaningful, right? But I can click and it will bring up those objects, right? So we're going to save this navigation form as um, FRM Customer Navigation. And so now this form that holds other things is in our um, forms. So if we were to look, I have an employee one already built, customer, that's the one we just did, services, see how nice they look. We're going to get to that, right? So I'm building these little, almost going to be sub forms. And then we're going to eventually put them into tabs so we can see the whole system right on one screen. All right, so I think we have this all done. So I'm going to pop that out of there. So I don't lose my place. Okay, so let's get that uh, customer navigation back up. So I'm going to go back into design and I'm going to close up my navigation page. Okay, edit the title of the navigation form. So that's this one to be customer navigation. Edit the title and delete the icon to the left. Oh, this. We're going to change this to be customer navigation. Don't put the word form. And then we're going to delete this little icon. So edit the title of the navigation form to be customer navigation done. Delete the icon to the left. Done. All right. Modify the back color property of the form header to be white. So just like we've been doing before, so right here, I click on the line that says form header. I have the black line. I go into my property sheet and I can always double check. Right here, it says form header. So I know I have the right area of my form selected. Form and then my background color. I'm going to click back color in the format tab. Click on my ellipses to get my gallery of colors, my palette white background one so it kind of is seamless with the rest of the form so we're going to close that change the shape of the form customer button to round rectangle so first of all i need to select that object i have my orange box around it um, i am going to try and find the format that changes the style of this button. Okay, so what we really want to do for this button is come up here to format and um, change the, um, in this control formatting group, we're going to do the shape. So right here where it says change shape, we're going to click on that and we want to find rounded rectangle. Okay. Rounded rectangle. So if I, if I double check rounded rectangle and you can see it's now, I went over to form design just to show you, see how this is a square, well, a rectangle. And then this has the rounded edges. We'll go back to design. Okay. So, and edit the button text. Okay. So, where it says form customer, I'm over here. I'm just going to change the caption to customer. And that's changed. So, I'm going to go ahead and mark that out. Okay, so step number six, it says change the theme of the database to integral. So I'm going to come over here 
<clears throat> Oops, design, themes, find, right here, integral. It's got kind of like a blue checkered. Okay, I'm going to click on that. It wants us to save the form and close the form. So we're done up through step six. I'm going to stop this movie. We're going to begin the next one with creating the navigation form that will access all the other navigation forms. All right, guys, thank you.